In this video, you are going to learn how to create custom email templates in Salesforce using both classic and lightning email templates. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments to be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. The first thing we need to do is understand the difference between Salesforce Classic and Salesforce Lightning email templates. Classic email templates are currently used with Workflow or Process Builder to automate email alerts. The Chargent Payments for Salesforce app uses this for sending receipts, payment requests, and automated collection emails based on certain events, such as when a transaction is approved or an account is passed due. Chargent also uses classic email templates to automate an email that is sent out 30 days before the renewal. That is done via Workflow with the classic email template. Lightning email templates are currently used for communicating with customers one-on-one -on -one and when you want to manually send the same email and use merge fields specific to the account. For example, at Chargent, our customers often ask questions regarding upcoming renewals for their customers. At App Frontier, we use custom fields. The fields are set up to determine a renewal date and the amount of the renewal. We can create a custom Lightning email template that can populate the customer's name, account, renewal date, and amount. It is notable that some states, like New York, require that you tell a consumer 30 days before billing their card for an annual subscription. The best practice is to send this notification to all subscribers. While we are talking about best practice, I want to share 10 of them with you. We made a special checklist for you of the 10 best practices to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the comments below. Okay, let's jump right in. Let's take a deeper look at classic email templates. Step one, a new template. Navigate to your setup and search the quick find for classic email templates. You will see the option to create a new one by clicking the new template button. Step two, template settings. You will see four options, text, HTML using classic letterhead, custom without classic letterhead, and visual force. Classic letterhead allows you to create a template and layout using your company's letterhead. For today, let's choose custom without classic letterhead. On the next page, we can name the template and select the folder to place it in. Two things to remember. If you put it in a private folder, only you will be able to use it. You want to make sure you check the box available for use. Step three, writing and merge fields. On the next page, you will create your template. There are drop-down menus to select the object and fields to merge. Merging in custom fields can personalize the email based on your org and your customers. Remember, the data needs to be populated on the record in order for the information to be merged. Step four, text version. When you are happy with the template, you can click next to create a plain text version. Most people use an email client that can read HTML. Having a plain text version available for the email software that doesn't can often increase your chances that the email goes to their inbox instead of a spam folder. Don't worry, your recipients will only get one version. Step five, test. Like everything we create, you always want to send a test. If you are familiar with workflow rules and triggers, you can set the email template to automatically be sent based on an event. Now that we understand classic email templates, let's take a look at newer Salesforce innovation, Salesforce Lightning templates. Lightning templates are similar, however, they are currently used as one-off templates, meaning they should be sent as needed. Salesforce does have plans to allow for automation in the future, but for now, you can use them for individual emails being sent to individual recipients. Step one, load a record. To start a Lightning email template, navigate to a record that contains Salesforce activities. This will often be the contact or case record. Use the editing tool the same as you would any email client and add a subject line, images, hyperlinks, and bullets. Step two, create the template. In the lower set of tools, you will see the brackets icon, which allows you to add merge fields. Merge fields can be standard or custom and can help personalize the email by inserting field values from an already populated record. Step three, save. When you are done, click the icon to the right of the brackets to save your template. Step four, use the template. To use the template in the future, when you're on a record to send an email, just click the email button, and instead of typing out a new email, 
click the Insert, Create, or Update Template button and select Insert a Template. You can now choose the template you created and use it for the email activity. And that's it. You are now able to create both Salesforce Classic and Lightning templates. And now check out this next video where you learn how to use Salesforce email templates for different types of payments. I will see you over there. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.